make a tutorial that I'm posting and it's gonna be a natural smoky look. It's what I'm wearing right now. So if you like this and you want to see more on how to do it, then just keep watching. Hi everyone! We're gonna get started today by priming our eyelids. I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the color Fair. I really like this concealer and highly recommend it. It's also a drugstore affordable. To blend that in, we're going to be using a damp beauty sponge. You could probably just use your finger to do this as well. Um, I just find that the damp beauty sponge works the best. Now to set that concealer, we're going to be going in with the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. We're going to be packing on this neutral skin tone shade with an Eco Tools brush. These don't have numbers on them, but it's the one with tightly packed bristles on it. Any brush like that will do. Now using the neutral icy tone in this palette, we're going to be packing that on with our finger. This just seems to work best to minimize fallout and to evenly smooth it all over the entire lid. I also highly recommend this palette. It's really affordable. Next up, the Tarlet in Bloom palette. We're going in with the color Flower Child and using the M441 from Morphe. This is a crease blending brush and it works like magic. So just gently blend that into your crease. Using that palette again, we're going in with Jet Setter on the Morphe M433 brush. This brush is gonna be great for just packing it into that inner corner and then buffing it out. So this is the part where we're really warming up the eye look. That way we can get our desired smokiness and just build up the color layer by layer. This is the other eyelid. I'm so sorry that it's so close. It was not supposed to be like that. Okay, next up we have Smoke Show, and we're just gonna use the same brush we did previously, and this is the part where it really gets smoky. Do you see what I did there? Smoke Show, smoky, okay, anyone? We're gonna do the same process though. We're gonna be packing and buffing and blending. Now going back in with Flower Child and our fluffier crease brush. We're going to just blend everything together now, so don't be scared to cross over into all the colors as well. Going back to the other eye, just blend it out as even as possible. I'm going to go back with the icy shade that we started with and apply that back on because some of the pigment can be taken out whenever you start blending through. So just fix that up. Now with a makeup remover wipe, we're just going to do some cleanup and make a straight line with the eyeshadow. That way we can just have more of a uniform eye look than two random splotches of eyeshadow on the edges. That don't look cute. Now for foundation, I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation, but you do have to shake this one up really good. I usually just use the entire dropper to use all over my face. And then I go in with just taking a finger and making little dots, three on each cheek area, and then a stripe down my nose, of course the chin, don't forget the chin, and then my forehead. Using the Morphe M439 brush, this is such a good foundation buffer, highly recommend, again. <laughs> It just works so beautifully, it makes everything look flawless and put together. And don't forget to blend the line between your chin and your neck. You have to make it look very fluid and natural, so don't skip that step. Back to concealer, I'm going in with the same one that I started with, the Maybelline Age Rewind in the color Fair. And I'm going to use the Damp Beauty Sponge as well to blend that in. You just want to put this under your eyes, down your nose. You could even do your forehead and your chin as well. Um, it's just going to cover up any lines you have under your eyes and also brighten your face, which is great for an overall completed look. However, this concealer you do need to set, so I'm going to be going in with the RCMA No Color Powder. You can use this on any skin tone, which is why I love it, and this is also affordable. Using the same damp beauty sponge, you just grab a little bit on the tip of it and start um, in sort of bouncing, dabbing, patting motions even. 
just put that under every area that you applied concealer on top of your foundation. I am oily skinned, so I put it on my forehead as well as my chin, which could work for some of you as well. I will let this sit for a couple minutes, so this is what I do while I'm waiting for it to set in. And we're back. Okay, now we're gonna start dusting this off. I am using another Eco Tools brush. Um, it's just a big fluffy brush. You can even use your foundation brush to brush this right off. Um, and I just kind of drag it down in circles, even though we didn't put powder on our entire face, just kind of cover the entire thing. Now going in with a flat brush and jet setter again. This is the M432 from Morphe as well, of course. You know by now, it's going to be Morphe. But we're just going to smoke this on our lower lash line instead of using actual eyeliner for this look. It'll just complete it and make it look smokier. Now going in with Urban Decay Mascara, I'm going to put this on my top and bottom lashes. And then sometimes I have to use my fingernails to kind of separate them out if they clump up. Once we completed the eyes, we're going to start bronzing. I love this butter bronzer. It smells like paradise. Um, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe M527 in order to do this. Bronzing is probably my favorite part of this entire experience. I don't know why. I just love it. Um, just make sure to cover your cheeks and your hairline. It's going to give you just this really natural bronzy glow. Um, this one is in light bronze since I am very pale. <laughs> Don't forget to get your jawline so that you can create a nice shadow effect. Now for highlighter, I'm going in with this Tarte highlighter in the color Exposed. It's a very neutral color, um, but it's so pretty. I'm going with the Morphe M501 and just dusting this along my high points. So the top of my cheekbones and my nose is what I do every day. <laughs> For blush, the Morphe 9N palette is what we're going to use. And I'm just going to use the lightest shade with my Morphe E4 to apply. It helps to go in with something a little more uh, neutral whenever you have some darker eyeshadow. It just bounces out the entire look. Now for the lips. We're going to be going in with Tarte's Cabana Boy. It's a really pretty berry mauve color, which helps with my blue eyes. Makes them stand out a lot more when I use purpley tones. And it's so creamy. I love this lipstick. Now to set our wild eyebrows. I know I have them. You probably do too. I'm just going in with some clear brow gel. That way I can tame them because they're crazy. So I'm just going to set those in place. I apologize for my raspy voice this entire time because allergies has hit me. So bear with me. Lastly, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray is what we're going to use to set the entire face. I'm just going to take a quick bath in this and then fan myself um, just to set everything together. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned. Put your hair down, it don't need that much volume. Again, when you say